Alright y'all, so I just got my handheld airbrush machine from Amazon. I ordered this on what, Tuesday? And I just got it today, it just came in the mail. This is an unboxing video, this is a slash uh, review video, this is a slash how it works video, this is a slash first looks video, like I'm just, I'm so excited, like it's crazy. But here it is, like I said I got it from Amazon, it's designed for you. Okay, design for you. All right, all right. So let me go ahead and open this up. I am so excited. Like, this is just, oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. Oh, it's upside down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm opening this for the very first time. Oh, looky, looky. I'm so excited. Okay, all right. So we got our instruction manual right here. Okay, and okay. So we got this going on. I guess this is the base. Dang, this thing heavy. This is pretty heavy, y'all. Okay, so we have our little, you know, hand uh, piece or whatever. We got two little paint buckets. I don't know what that is on the inside, but you know, all right. All right, we got our USB cord and Looks like a little dropper, a little cute little baby wrench, and another screw for something, probably like an extra something. Um, I do not know. But anyways, that's what we had. That's what came in the package. Like I said, I got this from Amazon, Amazon Prime. It shipped uh, to me like in two days. Like I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. Look at that, look at that. All right, y'all, do not talk about my towel. Like, I just got finished doing a press-on set. And, of course, it got messy. So, you know, don't come for me. Don't come for me. But anyways, so let me look at this. Let me look at this instruction manual real quick, like. And, okay, so it looks like this is the outlet. Um, so I'm assuming that you you know, put that on there like that. Okay, all right, that works. Um, this is the off and on button. Uh, that is the, when you plug it up, when you uh, ready to use it, you just plug it up. Um, of course, it, it didn't come with a, uh, dang, I can't, I'm so excited, y'all, I can't even talk. It did not come with the cube. Um, I call it the little wall piece that come with your phone chargers, the cube, because I mean, for Apple, it really is a cube. But anyways, it did not come with a cube or a wall piece. So if you have a wall piece or a cube laying around, you can just use that. Um, but anyway, so I guess this is the off and on button. Um, this is where you plug it up at air intake. Um, oh, this little hole right here, that hole right there, that's the air intake hole. Okay, that's where the air comes in at and um that's that one that and here's my little pin my little hand piece and um i guess you screw yeah seems like you just screw this on nice and tight i don't know is this an extra i think this is like an extra little paint uh bucket yeah, it's just an extra little paint bucket. That's cute. That's nice of them. All right, let me put this all the way together. Oh no, hold up. Get on, get on. So I'm just going this on. And that's nice and tight. Oh, I can't wait to use this. All right. Oop, I'm banging up everything. Okay, so now that that is on, I think I am going to try this with some acrylic paint. Um, I know this is going to be great for any like airbrush, nail art, or whatever. 
Um, I know this is probably gonna be bomb for my press-ons. Like, I have like the greatest ideas for my press-ons with this airbrush gun. Like, this is just, oh, this is amazing. So, give me a second, I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and paint a nail pink. I'm gonna get my acrylic paint together. And um, here we go. So, I'm just putting these gloves on or whatevs. And um, I'm about to, I think that I should, I should dilute my, my paint because acrylic paint is pretty thick. So I'm about to dilute my paint and um, all these gloves are humongous, but I'm going to dilute my paint in this, um, well, no, I'm gonna put it in a little cup. I'll put it in this cup. Um, I had water in there earlier. Um, so I guess that's fine. So this is the paint that I'm using. You can get this from Amazon. You can get it from Walmart. You can get it from any arts and crafts store like Joanne Fabric. Um, what's my other store? If you have a Plaza art store nearby, there's um, some at Plaza. There's some at Artists and Craftsmen. Um, Hobby Lobby. You know, you can find these everywhere. My bad, I ran out of storage, <laughs> go figure. But anyways, you can get your acrylic paint from any of those stores. I'm gonna go ahead and start the, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and start to pour my paint and get that out of the way, ew. So I'm gonna pour my paint and I think that's about enough, I think that's enough. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in there just to dilute it a little bit. I am not too sure, but I think your paint consistency has to be a little creamy. So we will see. So I'm gonna just give that a little stir. Uh, it's a bit watery. But I don't know, I don't know which, uh, what consistency it needs to be. All right, we're gonna figure this thing out. Let me just add a little bit more paint, thicken this up just a little bit. And I'm going to give it another little stir. And, all right, it's a bit thicker. It is a bit thicker, so I think we're good. I think we're good with that. Okay. So I told y'all that I prepared a nail um, when I went off the camera. And I'm just going to pour it in our little paint bucket right here. And ooh, I'm gonna pour that in there. Okay. So that was our paint. Like I said, I just diluted my acrylic paint a bit. Um, well, dang, it looks a, a, a watery, like a lot. <laughs> it looks very watery. Um, but we're gonna see, you know, trial and error, it's okay. I do have my pink nail that I painted. And um, even though I do have gloves, I think it might be smart if I use some foil to protect the nail. I probably should have put that on first. Dang. No, get out the way. Oh. All right, so I just poked a little hole in my foil and um, I'm holding on to my little nail. Um, trophy my chest piece my nail chest piece or whatever sticking my putty back on these gloves are too big and then I'm gonna stick this nail back on forget the gloves I'm gonna just take this one off Free. okay and here we go um take number one are y'all ready oh I'm so excited okay take number one Oh my gosh, okay, it's on. I don't even know how to hold this. 
It's on, y'all. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. It's actually working. I don't like the way it looks. It's cute, but like, ugh. All right. You know, maybe, maybe it'll be best if I took the tacky layer off. Maybe so. So let me just put this down real quick. And I'm not using no gloves. Just take these gloves off. Okay. Let me get some cotton. Let me get some alcohol. And I'm just gonna wipe this off. Take that tacky layer off. And um, that is that. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Aww. Hmm. This is not working. This ain't working, y'all. Maybe you don't dilute it at all. Take number three. So this time, I didn't dilute it, and um, we'll see what happens. Still. OMG. Look at that. This is hot. This is hot. <laughs> so I guess the trick is to be very gentle with the trigger. Don't pull it all the way back. Just, you know, pull it gently um, and, and, and gradually, you know, spray your nail. But look at this. And of course, I'm gonna wait for it to dry. This is freaking hot, y'all. Oh, I'm so happy. And of course, with top coat, like all the little dots and stuff that you see, like that won't even matter. I'm impressed. All I did was use my regular nail art paint, regular acrylic paint, and put it in this airbrush gun, like, oh my gosh. Maybe dilute it a little bit, you know? So that is creamy, not watery, but creamy. Really thick. And you'll come up with beautiful ombre nails with no acrylic. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking right now. Here is a close-up of my pink and white ombre, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.